Hello and welcome. So as you've probably noticed already, um, I talked about rebranding in the future and I think the right direction for us right now in Sticks and Stories is we are actually heading to Cigars and Spirits New England. And I think that just makes more sense for us right now. Um, the original plan, guys, for the channel was to kind of do more of a podcast style, sit down with local business owners, friends, family, have a cigar and get some really cool content. Um, I'm not ever going to give up on that. We're just not in a spot to do it right now. We've really, really geared towards cigar reviews and pairings, and that's what we're going to stick with for now and until one day we have a studio or, or something that makes a little bit more sense to sit down with a business owner, to sit down with our, our tobacconists and our bar owners and, and the people that we want to hear for how they got from point A to point B and what drove them and their love and their passion for cigars and spirits. And like I said, we're not there right now, but we will get there. So for the first installment on Cigars and Spirits New England, I thought we'd do a pairing today, opposed to a review. Haven't pulled this guy out in a little while. One of my favorite small smokes when it comes to the time of year. It's getting a little colder. It's beautiful today, which we're thankful for, but it is coming. So this is the Monte Cristo Open Junior box date. Sorry, the box looks really beat up because I hated all the stickers that were on it when it came in and I just wanted it to look authentic. May 2022 box date, PTE box factory. Absolutely beautiful smoke. The Open Junior. I brought it into a short one time, but that was a long time ago. I think it deserves a, a nicer video and one day a, a true review. But today we're going to enjoy this with our Michter Sour Mash. And the Michter Sour Mash was not the easiest guy to find in the world. I picked it up traveling through New York recently. Paid a little bit too much for it, but that's okay. I was willing to do that. Um, and I'm really happy with it, guys. Really happy with it. So I'm actually going to talk about this a little bit more when we get into the actual cigar smoking. So I'll be back for you. So guys, we have the mixture sour mash here. Absolutely delicious. This, this actually caught me off guard a little bit. This is a phenomenal pairing. So our Monte Cristo Open Junior, 110 millimeters by 38 ring gauge. Absolute heater every time I smoke one. I think I only have eight left now, including the burning of this one. So eight left. I'll pick another one up, like I said, reasonably priced box of Cubans, absolutely delicious, impeccable construction. Every time I smoke one, they have great construction. I just, for the one year anniversary of my wedding, smoked an open regatta the other day. Love that Bellicoso style Vitola, but this just, there's something about them. And I don't know if I just got the, the best box ever made or, or what it is, but I hope the next one's just as good. Uh, it, like I had said earlier, just about a year and a half of age on the dot on these guys, and they are in their prime right now. But do they have aging potential? They do. They're already kind of medium bodied for me. So if I have a little bit of age and they don't have too much gaminess or, or that uh, ammonia type flavor to them from a young Cuban that'll give off, then I recommend smoking it and not worrying about the age necessarily if you don't want to age out some of the qualities that that would be too smooth maybe for some um but the the sour mash is delicious guys uh, it's got a really nice viscosity a nice mouth feel it's got a great color to it so the sour mash is just they take a bit of the leftover mash from each batch and they add it to ferment the next batch um along with their aging process makes for a smooth tasty whiskey got a little bit of tang on it almost really good good pairing so far um the flavor notes I'm trying to put together for you that open junior's just classic tobacco tang wood light oak absolutely delicious Got a really beautiful feel through the, the retro. Not too spicy, but if you want a little bit of spicy, that's where you'll get it. I'm going to keep working on it, guys. I'll get back to you. So we're a ways into the cigar, guys, now, and probably about halfway through it. You can actually get probably, you can do 45 minutes on this smoke, to be honest with you, uh, if you baby it a little bit. Uh, a little bit less if you're chiefing on her, but it's actually for the, for the size of the, 
platform of the cigar itself, the Vitola, and, and the length, it uh, actually smokes for a decent amount of time. The spirit I'm really enjoying, the, the Mitchell Sour Mash, it's, it's definitely got this sweet vanilla yogurty smell to it, maybe a little bit of cake batter with a wood finish. Uh, it's very subtle. It's it's 86 proof, so it's a low proof. Uh, definitely a guy I like. I like the the rare breeds and things like that. Drink more like 100, 116 proof stuff like that. Uh, 100 proof and above, the sweet spot, basically for me. But so this is this is really light, but it actually and it even drinks smoother than that in my opinion. But it's very flavorful. It's very good. It's vanilla wood hard to explain but if you ever had i'm not a sour beers guy but if you ever had a sour beer that was fermented with yogurt or something like that it gives me that same tanginess i don't want to call it sour because it's not sour but it does offer this this sour more sourish like esque taste that reminds me of, of something like that like a, a kind of a sour beer that was fermented with yogurt and things like that which is a random one if you haven't had that but it's very good it's very good pairing so far i definitely recommend it uh, if you can find a bottle it grab it for sure and i'm gonna keep enjoying it guys i'll get back to you one more time but absolutely excellent so far all right we're gonna wrap this up so uh cigar was dandy as usual i actually had to touch it up twice so i kind of jinxed this on this one um it's never happened to me before with one of these i've never even touched one up so to have to touch this guy up twice would lose some points if we were doing an actual sit down style review so I kind of got lucky on this one, but I have reviewed this in the past. It, it's received between 87 to 89 points from me. Very fair scores. It would be in that range today, closer to the 87 side for sure. Uh, the flavors was balanced. They were, excuse me, balanced, flavorful, start to finish. Very, very similar to, to how it lights up, to how it finishes. Not a whole lot of changes, but nonetheless, it's still, uh, it's still very consistent, excuse me, is the word I was looking for. So... That was awesome. Uh, oak, a little bit of cinnamon on that. The Cuban twang, they're very simple. There's not a whole lot going on with these. I like them for that reason. If I want to spark something up that I think is just kind of crazy, I'll go for for a, a Liga. I'll go for something like that. It's a New World cigar. But when you want to sit down and smoke a Cuban and you want something very classic, not crazy, on the lighter side, like this is pretty much polar opposite from what you'd get out of uh, Particus Series D number four or something like that. It's very good very good the spirit was fine through and through i'm just enjoying it had a little bit of that like wet peanut to the table that peanut flavor that you get off of like a booker's or or a gym a gym beam suntory style product it's good i like it i don't mind that i don't i'm not a beam fan really that's just me i don't uh Sorry, for some reason these giant flocks of birds come through whenever I'm doing a review and, and that's just the way it goes. It's only the second time I've ever seen them and, and it's both the times I was doing a review. So if you hear a flock of birds in the background, I'm sorry. But I recommend it if we had to do a score, if we're going to start doing a little 1 to 10 scale on these pairings or something, I'd be a 6.5 to a 7. Probably a 6.5 is safe on this. Recommend it. Very tasty. Grab a bottle if you can. A little bit of orange peel. Vanilla wood a little bit of peanut on the end with a woody finish it's very good complements the cigar as well i love the compliment of uh the wood excuse me i'm going to set my glass down and excuse my lack of a glen karen today i uh somehow they break in my dishwasher so i'm gonna hand wash the next batch i get i'm gonna hand wash them it's about as low as you're gonna go on this guy couple more puffs on it but that's a wrap guys thanks for bearing with us through our changeover to cigars and spirits new england i'm very excited for it i think it's going to be great love some feedback if you got anything negative great well, that's fine too we can only go up so I'm not afraid of a little bit of uh, advice anything of the above i appreciate you guys being here appreciate my subscribers um guys we'll see you on the next one thanks so much